Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 Home Services project. In this video, we are going to learn about Add New Service Category. So let's see how can we add new service category. So first of all, let's create a new Livewire component uh, for adding new service category. So switch to the command prompt and uh, for creating the new Livewire component, type the command php artisan make colon Livewire a space directory name admin slash component name uh, let's say component name is admin add service category okay category component all right now press enter okay now let's run the application so write here php artisan serve now switch to the project and let's create the route for this component. So just go inside the routes directory, then open web.php file and uh, inside the admin uh, route group, uh, let's create a new route after this. Okay, so just write here a route, route colon colon get URI admin uh, service dash category slash add okay and now uh, add here the class name admin add service category component colon colon class also give the route name name and uh, let's say name is admin dot add underscore service underscore category all right now save this file now let's open uh, this class admin add service category component class okay so just go inside the app directory then http live web admin and from here let's open this one and uh, here let's add the class name uh, layout name okay so just write here layout and then just write here layouts dot base okay now save this file now let's open the view file so from resources directory resources views liveware admin and from here let's open this one admin add service category component dot dot php file okay and uh, inside this file let's copy all the content uh, from this file uh, admin service category component class uh, view file okay so from this file let's copy all the content and uh, paste inside this view okay select all and paste here all right now just remove this style and change here the title add service category okay let's copy this and paste here all right now let's remove this uh, table so just select and remove and also remove this one okay now here uh, let's add here a panel uh, panel panel default okay and also set here the column call md8 call md offset 2 okay and uh, inside this now add here panel heading and inside this add row then column md6 into 2 okay and in first first column just add here the title add new service category okay and inside this let's create a link anchor tag href is equal to add here the route double curly bracket route and inside this let's add here the route name of this okay let's copy this one 
just paste here okay now add here the class btn btn info and also enter the class full right okay and now add here text all categories all right now let's add here the panel body panel dash body and inside this let's create the form so right here form class and class name form horizontal form dash horizontal okay now let's add here uh, the input text field for the category name so first add here the form group form dash group then label label for name okay and uh, add here the class control dash label and also add here call sm3 all right and inside this just add here the label name category category name okay now after this call sm9 and then add here the input type text okay and class form control form dash control and now just close this okay and now let's copy and paste here for the slug change here uh, category slug okay and also change here slug and also give the name okay so write here name is equal to name and here name is equal to slug all right and now let's create the uh, input file type okay so let's copy this and paste here and uh, write here category image and input type file class uh, form dash control dash file and name image okay and after this just add here the submit button so write your button type is equal to submit and class uh, btn btn success and also add here the class full write and just add here the text add category all right now save this file now let's open uh, this view file admin service category component.play.php file and inside this file uh, first of all let's add here the panel okay inside uh, uh, inside this okay so after this let's add here a panel 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 default okay then panel heading and inside this add a row then column and this 6 into 2 okay now just add here the title all service categories service categories and now add here the link for adding new category okay so let's copy this one and just copy this link and paste here now change here the text add new add new okay and also change here the route name 
so let's copy this route name and uh, here you just select and paste okay now cut this table and uh, after the panel heading uh, just add here panel body panel dash body okay now paste here now save this file now let's check this form okay so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now you can see here the add new link here okay uh, if i click if i click on this you can see here the page for add service category okay and this is the form and here is the text input for category name and for the category slug okay and this is for image category image all right and if i click on this link you can see here the all categories all right now let's make working this form so switch to the project and uh, go to the class file admin add service category complete class file and uh, inside this class file let's create our three properties here so right here public dollar first property name second property slug and third property which is image all right now let's bind this property so inside the view file inside this form uh, for binding the name just write here wire colon model model is equal to property name name and for the slug wire colon model is equal to slug and for image image product category image uh, write here wire model is equal to image all right now save this file now inside the class file let's create a function for generating the slug okay so right here public function and function name generate slug and uh, inside this simply write here dollar this arrow slug is equal to str colon colon slug and uh, inside this uh, just pass here the category name dollar this arrow name and in second just pass here slash dash okay and also import here the str so right here use str uh, this one okay illuminate support str all right now let's uh, copy this function name and go to the view file and uh, inside the name name input text field just write here wire and event key up is equal to and paste here the function name okay now save this all right now let's validate this form okay so for doing this uh, inside the class file just write here public function and lifecycle hook method updated and inside this just pass here one argument which is fields all right now write here dollar this arrow validate only validate only and in first parameter just pass this argument fields dollar fields okay then big bracket and inside this big bracket just write here the property name first is name and add here the validation required required okay and for the slug it's also required required and now for the image image required and also
also add here the validation mi me type mi mes and type here the file format jpec and png okay and also add here the semicolon all right now uh, let's create a function uh, for creating the new uh, category service category so for that just write here public function and function name uh, let's a function name is create new category okay and inside this first of all validate all input okay so right here dollar this arrow validate this one and uh, inside this we we'll start a big bracket and then now let's copy these this line okay and paste here and after the validation create a variable dollar is category uh, this category is equal to new service category right now this category arrow name is equal to uh, dollar this arrow name and dollar s category arrow slug is equal to dollar this arrow slug and for the image Uh, right here dollar this arrow image uh, first of all generate the name okay so create a variable image name is equal to carbon colon colon now and get the timestamp arrow timestamp okay concatenation sign and here the dot again concatenation sign then dollar this arrow image and get the extension okay extend extension this one all right now dollar this arrow image uh, and call here this store edge function and uh, inside this just pass here the directory name okay so what is the directory name so let's check so go to the project directory and uh, just go inside the public folder then images and categories okay and here you can see the all categories images okay icons so let's copy this directory name categories and uh, paste here and after this just add the comma and then dollar image name this one okay and after this dollar s category arrow image is equal to dollar image name and after this just call here the save function s category arrow save all right now return a message so inside the session session uh, call the flash flash and uh, pass here the key message okay and add here the message category has been created successfully all right now save this file now go to the view file and uh, inside this form uh, let's display the validation message error message so for that after this just add here at the rate error and inside this just pass here the property name which is name if error 
then uh, now add the p type then class text test danger okay and just close this and inside this p type just print here the message okay dollar message and after this just close here so write here dollar at the rate int error okay and now let's copy this and uh, paste after this and change here the property name slug and in image paste here and change here the property name image all right now save this okay and uh, uh, for displaying this flash message uh, before this form so let's add here uh, at the rate if session has the message key this key okay so copy and paste here then uh, just close here the if and if and inside this just write here div class alert alert uh, dash success okay and also add here the role alert and now just print here the message station colon colon get and pass the key message all right and uh, now let's call this function on form submit so let's copy this function name and uh, inside the form just write here wire colon submit dot prevent is equal to this one right and now one more thing add here the at the rate csrf now save this file all right now do one thing uh, go to the config directory uh, config then just open the file system.php file and inside this file just go inside the disk array and uh, here inside the local uh, let's comment this and uh, here just write root arrow public underscore path and uh, inside this just add here the directory name which is this one images okay so let's copy this and paste here all right now save this file now everything is done okay so let's check this so first of all restart the application so go to the command prompt and here just to stop this and uh, return the application so write here php artisan serve all right now switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay now let's add here the category name so let's say category name is washing machine washing machine m s h i n e okay and now select the category image uh, desktop let's select this one washing machine open okay cannot handle file upload without all right there is one mistake go to the class file and uh, here uh, let's import here use live wire live wire slash with 
file uploads okay and inside the class is right here use with file uploads okay now save this and now check again sources to the browser and just refresh the page add here the category name washing machine okay now let's select the image this one okay it's now showing the preview image so for doing uh, for showing the preview image uh, let's add here the code inside the view so here after this let's add here dollar if dollar image and now just close this in if and uh, after this just add here the img type src okay and inside the src i write a double curly bracket then dollar image arrow temporary url okay temporary url and also set here the uh, width 60 pixel and now just close this image type all right now save this file okay now let's check again so switch to the browser and refresh the page and uh, now enter here the category name washing machine okay select the image And this time you can see here the preview image okay now click on add category all right admin add service category slug tool does not exist oh, okay let's check this go to the class file slug str column colon slug uh, okay here is the mistake Slug is the property name, okay. So just remove this. Here is the mistake, okay. So now save this file and uh, let's check again. So just go to the browser and refresh the page. And one more time, uh, let's add here the category name Overseeing Machine, okay. And now select the category image. All right now click on add category and this time you can see here the message category has been created successfully all right now let's check this uh, category so click on all categories and uh, if i click on next next and here you can see the newly created categories okay so in this way you can uh, add new service category so that's all about adding a new service category so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching